Hello guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about the types of assignments that are used in AutoHockey programming. I originally haven't planned to go over any programming concepts because they're boring and you can really learn the concept later down the track. But assignments are a very important concept in AutoHockey programming at least and it will have a direct influence on your coding experience. Therefore, it's very important that you understand this concept before getting into the actual coding in auto hockey. And so if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Okay, let's get started. Now by assignment, I mean assigning values to variables. First of all, anything can be a variable. For example, hello or variable underscore one or a random number 16789 can all be a variable and what's an assignment hello equals salutation this is an assignment you're assigning a value of salutation to hello for instance I can show in a message bar the value that is stored in hello in this manner if I go ahead and run this script it will say salutation in my message box I can convert this into variable underscore one salutation again and if I go ahead and run this change the value of the ver of the, the name of the variable within the message box go ahead and run it I'll get salutation still now I can change this to a random number like I said one six seven eight nine for, in for instance if I switch the name of the variable inside the message box to one six seven eight nine and go ahead it will still say salutations I I'm a variable go ahead and run it the value will be updated now there are two types of assignments used in auto key programming one is called legacy assignment or equal sign assignment and the other is called expression assignment legacy assignment is basically this the one that uses an equal sign and expression assignment uses a colon and an equal sign it's important, very important that you understand the difference between the two because in order to assign a value, a string value of salutation to this variable name for legacy assignment, you just do an equal sign. However, in expression assignment, you have to wrap the string inside quotation marks. Otherwise, what it's going to think is if you remove the quotation marks, it's going to think that salutations is also a variable. And it will going it will assign the value that is contained within the variable salutation to the variable called one six seven eight nine. This is one of the reasons why it's important that you are able to distinguish between legacy assignment and expression assignment. Now the reason I don't understand the reason why both forms of assignments exist in autohockey programming environment but there is this post in stack overflow where one of the answerers has explained that the reason both forms exist is because autohockey's legacy syntax and structure was influenced by batch languages like ms dos batch files and unix shell scripts now honestly speaking i don't understand what this means but what you can glean from the from this answer is that Orohaki was influenced both by an old language that uses legacy assignment and a new language that uses expression-based assignments. Okay, so that's enough for understanding the background of why t the two forms exist. Now let's go ahead and explore more on how these two forms of assignments differ. I'm going to change this to result and I'm going to do a one plus two. Now I would think that if I get the result of this mathematical operation, I should be seeing three, but I'm not seeing three. I get a one plus two, and that's because this is not considered an expression. Now, in order to get the result of three, you need to use the expression assignment. And this time, if I go ahead and run the script, I will see number three showing up. It successfully added two to one. And this has implications when using values from a variable for another variable. For instance, if I create a variable called number one and give it a, a value of one and create a, a variable called number two and give it a value of number two, 
and lastly create a value called result and add number one and number two together what I would get as the result would be the string number one plus number two I'm not getting a three or I'm not even getting one plus two I'm getting number one plus number two because this legacy assignment is taking this string literally as a string not a variable that has a value of one and a variable that has a value of two now in order to access the values within these two variables number one and number two you need to wrap in legacy assignment you need to wrap the variables in percentage signs like this so if I go ahead and run this script I should be seeing 1 plus 2 this time it successfully accessed the values within variables number 1 and number 2 now if you want instead to see number 3 which is the result of the mathematical operation of 1 plus 2 you need to use the expression assignment like I said before and this time you remove the percentage signs please also note that you can change the assignment type for the variables themselves as expression assignment instead of legacy assignment but it doesn't really matter because even when you do a legacy assignment for numbers they will be taken in as numbers and therefore number one will represent a value of one number two will represent a value of two now that we have covered how to assign values to variables and that anything can be a variable I'm also going to just quickly show you that you can also use a value within a variable as a part of another variable. So what I mean by that is if I created a variable called i and gave it a value of 1 and I went ahead and created another another variable called my variable and tried to use the value within the variable i as part of my new variable name and gave it a string value of hello what if I if I did message box my variable and I know I know that the value stored within I is one so I'm going to go ahead and my variable one right my variable one and wrap it in percentage signs like this this is going to work and this is going to show me hello in message box for expression assignment it's pretty much the same so let me just go ahead and create another another variable called j now I'm going to do an expression assignment but um, using the value in j but this time you also do have to you also do have to uh, rep j within the variable name in percentage signs in order to use that as part of a new variable now if I now go ahead and type message box my variable and I know this time j is number two so I'm gonna go ahead and type j and uh, type 2 out right and hit save and I and if I run this let me comment this out because I don't want to see it again if I run this I should get number 5 being printed in my message box now this is it for the first part of the tutorial for assignment types in AutoHotKey uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to cover some other things like how do I join multiple strings and variables or what is a shorthand to perform expression assignment and lots of other things. So thanks for watching so far and I'll see you in the next tutorial.